I'm going to pick up from the last video we did on applica applications of integration area between curves. And we had done this problem. We went through all this work. We found our, our intervals here. We found our intersections. We labeled as much as we could. We did some tests to figure out how we knew which curve was over which. Um, we talked about common areas that uh, on the graph that we were looking at we had two areas that were the same so we just took the in, we in a, took the area of that one of them and multiplied it by two we applied the fundamental theorem of calculus without doing all the work and what I ran out of time to do was what we need to do now which is this so if you don't mind if we could just try this now um, on your calculator I'm gonna keep this video to under three minutes so let's do that so if you don't mind just Take this with you to, with your cal to your calculator, and I'm going to try to apply that right now with my um, TI Inspire CAS calculator. Uh, it also works great on the TI-89, so and it's pretty much the same stuff. So go back to my document here, and here's how I set this up. Now, just to show you the keystrokes of this, uh, if you look at the problem we were just working on, this is exactly the same problem. And if you say no, you only had you only integrated twice. You're right, I integrated this one and then this one, and I just, we decided that this piece right here was the same size as this piece right here, so we multiplied it by 2. Could have done it the exact same way. Uh, maybe we'll test that theory. What if I'm wrong, and I'm going to post this video anyway just to show you that I don't know what I'm talking about. So let's try that. Let's try 2, 2, 2 times the integral. Negative 3 negative 2 of 2x squared minus 8dx. Somebody's laughing because they know I put in, I had something in terms of p one time and put it in as x and got the answer wrong all day long. And it's very sad. Okay, I'm going to move this. Oh, that's what I want to make sure is that I'm outside of the parentheses. So I'm going to backspace for a second. So I'm outside the parentheses, so here's my plus sign here. Plus, right? plus and go back to your calculus menu and choose integral again and now we want that this is that middle integral here this is the left and right in uh, uh, integral right here right the, the left and right area is this one because I did two times this so here I did this one plus this one I said I think these two are the same size so I'm just gonna take two times that one and this one is from negative two to two and if you can picture that's the kind of oval shaped piece that we were talking about uh, and it was of 8 minus 2x squared dx dx and hit enter. Holy macaroni, it worked. So, more proof, more proof, more proof. That's actually really good news for us. Worked out just fine, didn't it? We believe that this piece and this piece were the same size pieces. I don't know if you can remember what this thing looked like, but it looked like this, didn't it? thing looked like this. It was this thing here, right, like this, and then it was this piece here, and this was, right here, was the part that was, had an x value of negative 2 here, and an x value of 2 here, and we re we recognized that there was symmetry, that this thing was symmetrical uh, to the y-axis, and then we had this thing here, We had this one over here, and my art sucks, so I apologize, but it still holds true. And this was x equals negative 3, and this is x equals 3. And when we looked at it carefully and tested the symmetry of it, we realized that the, this area here, that this area here was identical to this area here. So in the first, the first problem, we did, the first way that we did this on the calculator, we said, you know what, let's add this piece. Right, and that's this piece here. And then let's add it to um, this piece. And that's this piece here. And then in the middle, it doesn't matter what order we added them in. And in the middle, let's add the area of this thing here. And that's this. Right? In our second attempt, though, we said that this area and this area are the same. So we got two of these pieces. So we said, you know what? This, we have 
one of these areas here and we have another one of the same area here so we have two of those areas and that's this right here two of these areas plus one of these areas here and we have one of those right so hopefully that helps the calculator can be really really helpful you should really really practice uh, doing this kind of work on your calculator so by the time you have to do it on the exam you know there won't there certainly will not be time to figure this out on the exam so okay hope that was all really helpful really really helpful and that's all I have for you